So today for our computer science unplugged activity, we are going to learn about binary. Binary is the language as of computers. It's all I really understand, ones and zeros, if you can believe it. And this is because computers run on electricity. And so like a light bulb, when electricity is on, that's a one. When the light bulb is off, that's a zero. And I found this website recently that shared all this binary code. And I don't know about you, but I can't read this. So how in the world do we communicate with computers when all they talk is ones and zeros? That's what we're going to explore today. So let's see if we can figure out what this says. I'm just going to copy this code and I found this binary translator. I'm going to convert it. Oh, do you recognize that date? That's right. That's April Fool's. So it seems like maybe this was an April Fool's joke. Let's read a little bit more. I want you to know, look at all that code there. This is what it says. In this week's CSK8 podcast episode, I created a podcast episode for computers that's entirely in binary. So isn't that fun? So how is it that we can communicate? We can type on our keyboards. We can use our fingers on an iPad. We can record like I'm recording. Um, if computers really only speak ones and zeros? Well, it starts with numbers. So computers understand, we understand numbers, right? We understand one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and all that. Um, that's called the decimal system. It's called a base 10 system, where binary is a base two system. And so what we can do is convert the numbers that we understand in base 10 to the numbers computers can understand in base two. And the way we do this is that in binary, this place is one. Oops. There we go. The next is two. The next is four. The next is eight. I don't know if you noticed, but that's doubling every time, right? One plus one is two. Two plus two is four. Four plus four is eight. So we can take a number we know, like 15. And what we have to do is add these bottom numbers up so they'll equal 15. And it turns out, uh, what I, the way I do it is I look at this first number and I see if, if it's less than or equal to the number we're looking for. So eight is less than, so we're gonna turn that on. Oh, that's not a very good eight. And then four plus eight, what does that equal? 12, so yes, we can turn that on. And 12 plus two. 14, so yes, we can turn that on. And 14 plus one, 15. Oh, there's our number. So 15 in binary is one, 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 one. Um, I show another example here of two. So two, eight is greater than two, so we have to turn that off. Four is greater than two, so we have to turn that off. Two equals two. Oh, good, we can turn that on. And now that we've got two, we know the next one is off. So that's why that is two in binary. Let's do one more example together. I'm going to skip down to five. All right, eight is greater than five, so we're going to turn that off. Four is less than five, so we can turn that on. Four plus two, mm, that's six. That's greater than five. We're going to turn that off. Four plus one, oh, five. So binary, five is zero, one, zero, one. So I've given you some other uh, things that you can try out here if you want to play around with the math. But what we want to do is create a binary bookmark that is based on letters. So here we go. We know that we can convert numbers to binary, but that still doesn't help us get words and things like that into a computer. So there was a group of people that decided they would define a letter and give it a number that we recognize. And then that number has a binary associate. So if I'm looking at the letter K, uh, they've associated with the number 75 and this is 75 in binary. You'll notice that there's a binary for lowercase letters and binary for uppercase letters. 
So what I want to do is I want to pick three letters. Um, for me, it probably makes sense to use my initials. So K for Kim, S for Sue, and W for Wilkins. So my um, numbers that I know are 75, 83, and 87. So you'll have this to look at um, if you will need to go get the binary codes that associate with each of those. So you go back to this and um, I already did the example for K. And again, if you want to try to do the math, that'd be awesome. Um, 128 is greater than 75, so I turn that off. 64 is less than, so I turn that off on and I'm going to get my little math going. So 64 plus 32, let's see, that's 96. No, nope, that's more than 75, I'm turning that off. Okay, 64 plus 16, 80, oh, that's greater than, turn that off. Oops, let me get my eraser again. Okay, 64 plus 8, oops, 72, I can turn that on, that's less than 75. 72 plus 4, that would be 76, I'm going to turn that off. 72 plus 2 would be 74. That's less than. I'm going to turn that on. And then 74 plus 1, 75. There we go. That's the binary. Again, if you want to try the math, that's great. If not, you can go to the um, ASCII conversion codes. So you're going to do that for your three letters here. Okay. And then you're going to pick a color to be your one. I'm going to pick purple and another color to be your off, your zero. I'm gonna pick green. And then finally, you're gonna come down here. Now, if you haven't been able to print out this worksheet, that's fine. You can just use scratch paper and do the work that way. Um, but for this, you might need, if you aren't able to print it out, you might need a ruler so you can create this grid. But what I want you to do is put the numbers in here with the colors you associated with. So what did I do? I said green was going to be zero. So for my K, I have a zero here, a zero here, a zero here, and a zero here. And then I said my other was going to be, my one was going to be purple. So I have a one here, a one here, a one here, and a one here. All right, and then you're going to decorate. Do what you want. Let's see. I think there's just going to put lots of little ones around the little ones, around the big one. And then for my green, I think I'm just going to do a little faces. So you'll do that for every row, right? So this was my K, and then I would do an S, and then I would do an W. And when you have it all complete, uh, you can cut it out and you'll have a new bookmark. And if you want to take a picture of it and share it, that would be awesome. All right. Good luck.